In part one of the Descriptive Statistics tutorial, I will show you how to use the Discrete Frequency tool to quickly obtain frequency information of groups of data. I'll also show you how to use the Statistics on Columns dialog to calculate descriptive statistics for grouped data. We begin by importing one of our sample ASCII files. I'm going to highlight the first two columns and then select Statistics, Descriptive Statistics, Discrete Frequency. The first two columns are automatically picked up as input when the dialog opens because I had made a worksheet selection prior to choosing the menu option. Our output results count will be stored as a new sheet in the same book. So when I click OK, we get a second sheet added to this book with the count values for both make and year. So if we look at 1992, there's 26 counts. If I go back to automobile and I scroll through this worksheet here, you'll see that there are 26 counts for 1992. The results of the discrete frequency are sorted by descending order of count. The most frequently occurring data will appear first. Let me switch back again to the first sheet. And this time I'll select Statistics, Descriptive Statistics, Statistics on Columns, and open the dialog. At the bottom of the dialog we have a message telling us that we need to select at least one column as input. Nothing was chosen because I hadn't made a worksheet selection prior to choosing the menu option. That's okay because once in the dialog, I can also select my data range by clicking the interactive button. The dialog will roll up while I make my worksheet selection. To set a grouping range as make, I can click on the right arrow and then I can choose from any of the columns in the active worksheet. So you'll see you have your choice. You can either click the interactive button and go back to the worksheet and make a selection or just choose from a list of columns by clicking the right arrow. In the quantities to compute branch, we see that it's going to give us the mean, the standard deviation, the sum for each of those columns But because we also set a grouping range, it will give us a value, the mean standard deviation sum, for each make. I can collapse that branch. Let's create a box chart. So I'll check this checkbox. This will give us a box chart of the results. Looking at the output settings, let's arrange the plots of the same type in one graph. We'll see what that does in just a moment when I click OK and the report is generated. I'm asked if I wish to switch to the report sheet, which we'll do. It then makes that third sheet active. So notice in the descriptive statistics table, for each column, for power, for 0 to 60 miles per hour. For weight, we have it broken down by make. And for each, we have the total number of points, the mean, standard deviation. And if I scroll down to the bottom, we see that we have six graphs, one for each column of data. Let me double click on the graph. It's just an embedded graph, so I can double click if I wish to make any changes to it. Let's customize the tick labels. And then click the X to close the graph and return it back to the report. Like any analysis in Origin, 
If you wish to make any changes or to do a recalculation, simply click on the green lock. This concludes part one of the Descriptive Statistics tutorial. Thank you for watching.